Alright, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys the all-new and improved Dynapro Vacuum Blender by Trivis. Now, this is the new model. Be very careful you guys are going to go purchase a Dynapro Vacuum Blender. I want to make sure you guys get the brand new model. Don't get the old one. The old one is still out there. Trust me, there's old inventory that you know retailers have in stock. They're going to try to sell you guys before they sell you the new one. Here at Discount Juicers, we basically got rid of all our old inventory and we are only selling the brand new model. Now, the brand new model has a different model number. And the model number on this one is actually uh, the DPS. Dash 1050A. This is not to be confused with the DPS 1050 B. Tribus has a weird numbering system, right? Or model system. And let me explain the B thing. So if we turn over the box here, oops, <laughs> maybe this side box, <laughs> over here, you see it says B right there. This is the 1050A dash B. <laughs> And the original unit was the 1050-B. The dash B means that it actually has the USA plug type, which is basically a three-prong grounded electrical plug uh, for use in the USA. So if you live in another foreign country watching this episode, you're not going to have the dash A. You might have, you might, you're not going to have the dash B, sorry. You're going to have a dash A, D, E, or G, or, or some other letter, right? But you want to make sure you get the DPS 1050A with no dashes, right? Because if you get that model, or if you get that model, then you're getting this exact vacuum blender that's been improved over the previous version that did not have the A. This is a brand new box here, and for those of you guys that um, have already purchased the original model, don't worry, Tribest is going to take care of you. I'll let you guys know about that a little bit later in the episode. But basically the new model, there's about, uh, I don't know, four things, three or four things different that I've realized, all right? Uh, number one, the new model has a clear carafe. So this is really cool. I like the clear carafe a lot better than the smoke-colored carafe. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two, the blade assembly has been greatly improved. Actually, I haven't tested it yet. This is the first time I'm unboxing it. Um, uh, in my original testing... The original Dynapro didn't quite blend as good as a Vitamix. It left bigger chunks. But now Tribest is telling me that they got that resolved by redesigning uh, the blade assembly so that now it blends better than ever. And I'll be testing that a little bit later in this episode, so I hope they are accurate. All right. Another thing that's new is that there are no longer the manual and simple uh, 6 volt operated pump that was completely a manual operated pump or a manual operated automatic pump. Uh, now they include a 100% automatic pump that will basically suck out all the vacuum out of the can canister um, by just the press of a button, one touch, and uh, suck out the most vacuum every single time, 100% automatically. So no longer do you have to you know, pull a little plunger and, and suck out air. No longer do you have to use this little, in my opinion, weak, underpowered pump. It now includes a uh, very powerful vacuum pump. So that's really cool. 12 volts, actually. Other, another thing that's new on this model is, uh, let's see, if we turn this over here, you guys can probably see that. It says uh, ETL there. And the ETL, that's a, basically a certification. So the previous model was built to... Uh, commercial sanitation uh, standards, but now they actually have the approval. So this is equivalent to the NSF standard. This means if you have a commercial juice bar, restaurant, or food service, uh, you know, and you need a commercially approved appliance according to your health department, this is it. This is also built to commercial electric standards, which the previous model was as well. So uh, that's really cool for the household users. This doesn't really matter so much. And the final difference, of course, is there is a price increase. <laughs> the new model is uh, $50 more expensive than the previous model. Be sure to check the link down below for the current pricing at discountjuicers.com. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, on the box here, uh, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the vacuum blending, what that does, you know, the, a vacuum blender is different than any other blender on the market because most blenders blend in a traditional way or in the ambient air, right? Whatever is in the container, you blend, and there's air mixed in there, and when you're blending, it's actually mixing in more air with your smoothie. And when you blend under vacuum, what it's going to do before you blend, actually, it sucks the excess oxygen and air out of the container, um, so it's blending in a virtually oxygen-free environment. There's still some oxygen in there, um, but it's virtually oxygen-free so that much less oxidative damage happens. And actually, on the side of the box here, uh, they have a little comparison. A uh, vacuum blender uh, preserves antioxidants while enhancing flavor, texture, nutrition content. And it says a uh, traditional blending. It says uh, eliminates antioxidants while causing oxidation, browning effect, and nutrient loss. So those are the main ben the differences, right? And you know, I'll say this. Um, Nowadays, I only like to blend in a vacuum blender. I own several different models. I've used many of them. I've even created my own. <laughs> I have a Nutribullet because when I learned about the technology and what it can do, I was totally sold. And when I learned about it, that was one thing. But when I started using it and experimenting and experiencing the vacuum blended smoothies, uh, you know, and things I do, sauces and soups in my blender, it was really a big difference I could you know tell in blending like the consistency is a lot more amazing in the vacuum blender um, especially when you're blending fat so like I made like an avocado style mousse with carob and some dates it really fluffs it up and when you do the same mixture in a non vacuum uh, say like a Vitamix right it kind of makes it more dense so the textures are really a lot nicer also it preserves more than br brilliant colors you know I have an Instagram account if you have an Instagram account you want to get a vacuum blender because a lot of the smoothies you make look dark, brown, oxidized, especially if you're blending tomatoes up, they, it always goes brown, right? Or if you're blending up apples, right, or into applesauce, it turns brown, right? Not going to happen in a vacuum blender. You're going to have nice, more vibrant pictures. <laughs> but that being said, um, you're also going to get more nutrients, and that's the main reason why I believe vacuum blending is so beneficial. You know, in a study in, they did in Japan, there's 2.5 times more of a polyphenol antioxidant when you're blending blueberries in a vacuum blender versus in a standard traditional non-vacuum blender. So literally you're getting two and a half times more of certain antioxidants and of course depending on the nutrients it's going to vary. You know I would say minerals probably are minimally affected uh, by the blending but the uh, vitamins may be affected but even more so the most important nutrients in anything I blend are for me the antioxidants. These are the things that help keep us young and when you're blasting them in a regular blender without a vacuum, you're going to lose potentially two and a half times more of certain polyphenol antioxidants in blueberries. And what about, you know, different nutrients in, in spinach or kale? And so they're just now starting to test some of these different nutrients. And the other thing for me, and as nice as it is to have these tests that show there's a nutrient difference, and that's if you trust them and I tend to be pretty skeptical, is that I could taste them, right? So if I blend the same exact mixture in the vacuum blender or a non-vacuum blender and then I taste the two that I made, you could totally taste more flavorful smoothies or soups or sauces in the vacuum blender. And to me, that is because when you taste something, that's like more nutrients that are in there. Anyways, I don't want to get into the whole big spiel about why vacuum blending is good. I want you to check the link down below. I did a two hour long video, initial video, with the Tribest Dyna Pro, which basically most of that information in there will still stand, although this is the new version with uh, you know, the new model, which is basically improved. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, open up this box and show you guys what, what comes inside the all new Dyna Pro. Alright, so first you have the motor base here. I don't think this motor base has changed significantly, much like, you know, Tesla does basically um, rolling upgrades. You know, if they found some things that maybe weren't screws that weren't tight or that put some Loctite in there, you know, they basically improved it. This is basically, this model was made like literally a month ago from the time I got it right now. So this is like the latest off the factory. Uh, next, of course, this is a new part here, not previously available. This is the all-new um, clear 
BPA free craft. Now don't worry if you guys have the old unit, the old unit was also BPA free but it had a smoke color. Um, uh, this unit I like better because it's clear. The other top on the old unit was black and this one is clear as well. So I really think this looks a lot more sharp than the previous one. That being said, um, the, the container, although it's just a different color, it works the same. And I was told the reason for this change is because when they had to get the NSF certification, um, the NSF wanted the container clear. Um, other than that, the only upgrade on this container that I'm aware of is actually the blade assembly uh, inside the container here. Now when I got this new container, right, like a dummy, and do not do this at home, I stuck my finger in there and I'm like, oh, let's see how sharp the blade is. I went to see how sharp the blade is. I cut my finger, so don't do it. So uh, Tribest has actually improved the sharpness of the blade, maybe some other things with the blade, so that they are saying that it actually cuts and performs better. Because, you know, as much as I love all vacuum blenders, because they vacuum, and I will take any vacuum blender, even a cheap, inexpensive vacuum blender these days, like a $100 one, over a $500 Vitamix, just because of the sheer fact, because it vacuums and it sucks out the air before it blends, right? And vacuum is one factor that you want to consider when buying a blender. Another factor, of course, is, you know, how long is a warranty? A lot of the cheap, inexpensive Chinese vacuum blenders may not have a warranty, may have a short warranty, 90 days, one year maybe. Uh, the Trivest vacuum blender has the longest warranty in the blender industry and of any vacuum blender that I know of. Even the next best vacuum blender has like, I think at present time has like a seven year warranty. This has a full 15 year warranty for home use. And if you guys are using it for commercial use, it gets even better because most commercial uh, blenders have only a one year warranty. The Trivest put, is putting their money where their mouth is and they have a three year commercial a warranty for this vacuum blender but yeah 15 years for household use that's basically like saying this is the last blender you're gonna have to buy um, anyways aside from just the warranty another thing that's really important is how good does the blender blend regardless of being a vacuum blender or not we know that Vitamix has that point dialed in they are one of the best blenders out there that really grind up and fractionate and blend things to a fine and small particle size. The problem is when they're doing that, it's not in a vacuum, so you're basically blowing it up into a small particle size, but you're also oxidizing it at the same time. So, you know, I hope that vac Vitamix comes out with some kind of vacuum attachment thing. One of these days, I, I, I heard at the last trade show that they're working on it, but I don't know if it's ever gonna come out. Anyways, uh, Trivest uh, has the vacuum technology available now, and actually, th it, this, this model has basically come out about a year ago. So this model originally came out approximately a year ago, and now a year later they've upgraded it and it made it even better. So uh, you know the thing I want to say is that if you guys are a previous customer of Tribest and you previously bought the Dyna Pro vacuum blender from Discount Users, you're covered. Don't worry about it, right? Um, Tribest will upgrade you uh, to the uh, new uh, blade assembly, so you're going to get better performance at no cost to you. You're just going to have to pay a small shipping charge. Uh, in addition, they're also going to upgrade you to the uh, enhanced and upgraded automatic vacuum pump uh, for free for a small shipping charge. Now, this is only for a limited time only, so be sure to contact Trivest as soon as possible to claim your free upgrade, right? And this only goes to previous purchasers before this unit was released. So if you try to buy like an, uh, the, the old unit now and then get the free upgrades, it's not going to work because Trivest tracks all the serial numbers. Plus, you're going to have to supply your receipt to show when you actually bought uh, the previous unit so that you could get the free upgrades. I really like how Tribest takes care of the previous customers, the early adopters that actually wanted to get their hands on the vacuum blender so that they could experience the difference of vacuum blending. All right, so uh, if you guys want to get the new clear craft, sorry, uh, Tribest will sell that to you if you want one. Not going to be included on the free upgrade because basically the functionality of the new craft, uh, although it's clear, it's not any different. All right, let's see what else is in the box here. So otherwise in the box, you got the instruction manual here, which basically goes over the instructions um, as well as has a warranty card in here. It's actually in multiple languages. And then uh, also inside the box, they have uh, a gasket set. So this is a nice kit here. Uh, this doesn't come with uh, any other uh, vacuum blender. They actually have a couple different plugs here for your top in case they should wear out. There's four of them. And there's actually uh, four rubber o-ring gaskets that go on this top here as well. 
Now, the other thing that's really cool along with this vacuum blender, and this is the only vacuum blender that I know that actually includes this feature at this time, they actually have what's called a stir stick. So this is for like, you know, scooping out your blended mixtures when you're done blending, or the other way the stir stick can be used is you can take off this top, so this, ha this is only uh, going to work if you're not vacuum blending, right? You could actually use this as a tamper to like push things into the blade. So this gives you the flexibility to do vacuum blending um, or to do standard blending uh, in using this as a tamper to push things really um, you know, dense and thick in there that don't have a lot of liquid content. That being said, this is a blender, guys. It's not for basically turning any, any solid foods into a smoothie. You need to have enough water content so that this machine will work properly, right? If it doesn't have enough water content, no blender is going to work properly. So it also could be important when loading it and load in the watery items first. So like if you're loading in a salad, don't put all the greens in first and then all the nuts and then the tomatoes on top. Put all the tomatoes and have a good portion of tomatoes on, on the bottom. Put all the lettuce and then put the nuts on top so that when it blends, it blends up the watery stuff and then it helps suck in the more dense materials that not, doesn't quite have as much water content on top. So I like that they include the stainless steel um, uh, stir stick. And then actually the only other part in here is the brand new, and this is the part I've been waiting for, uh, this is the uh, Tribes One Touch Automatic Vacuum Pump. It says uh, rapidly removes air to reduce oxidation and retain freshness of food. Now, you know, if you did purchase the Dynapro um, late and you don't get the actually the $15 shipping charge, a free upgrade on this, you guys can purchase this separately. I think it's like over a hundred dollars you guys want to purchase this so actually it's quite a good deal now to get the Dynapro because it does include this uh, in the package and this could be used uh, you know with the Dynapro also their personal glass blender that now has a glass craft that this will work with this will also work with their uh, Tribes Souvent which is their uh, sous vide machine so you can you can use this to uh, suck the air out of the bags so anyways, uh, this actually includes the batteries, so that's definitely cool. It has includes um, alkaline batteries here. We're going to remove this tab so that we could fire it up. And uh, how this guy works is basically, oh, let's go ahead and put this top on. We put this top on, make sure it's uh, in tight. We make sure this uh, the lid's on. And we basically just put this right on the top here, suck it down, and just press this one button once. And now this, uh, this unit is actually taking the extra oxygen and air inside the unit and basically expelling it and sucking it out and putting it under vacuum um, you know with the one touch of a button you know and this is one of my big contentions with the Tribest um, Diner Pro previously that I would have to do a manual pump to suck out the air or they had like a little automated pump that I personally felt didn't really work that well but this one is definitely the way to go because it's just a you know fully automatic one touch operation press the button and it works you can literally just walk away and um, you know let it work so this unit actually senses the, per the percentage of oxygen still left in the craft so because I'm running it and the craft is completely empty it has to do a lot of sucking say I filled the craft up almost to the top right um, this unit will not have to work as hard because it's only having to suck out the extra oxygen in the top of the crab, but because I'm running it and it has to suck out the whole contents, it's going to take a little bit. Now, all right, so once it's done vacuuming, then we could just pop this off, and there's just basically one light on here that uh, it lights up when it's running. We could take this carafe off, and now we could listen to the vacuum it's created. Wow, that's actually a good amount of vacuum. I'm quite impressed. Now, the, the trick for using this is when you start using it, you want to press down a little bit to make sure that it seats quite well and you want to have this lined up with the squareness of the top. You can't have it cockeyed at an angle, it's not going to work. It needs to be actually uh, you know, in line with the squareness of the top of the jar. Push it down, press the button so it starts to create a good uh, suction and then you could actually walk away. If you just put it on and haphazardly and press the button, it may not get a good enough uh, vacuum for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, new model in a nutshell I mean this model has like a two and a half horsepower runs at 30,000 rpms all the specifications on the unit are still the same there's basically one touch buttons you could touch to a, a blend pulse or a combo mode that actually varies 
the speed. Uh, if you press a button once, it's uh, 30 seconds. If you press it twice, it's going to run for uh, a minute. If you run it, press it for three times, it's going to run a minute and a half. So basically, every press you press uh, gives it another 30 seconds on the clock. In addition, you have a manual mode. So you could turn this on manually and control it with a dial, much like an old volume control on a TV where you can control it to the minimum or the maximum. I find this uh, most useful because sometimes you have a thick mixture. You want to go down to the you know minimum and then uh, taper it to the maximum, taper it down to the minimum to help get things worked into the jar. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, and then you, of course you could also set the time. So you could set the time once it's blending on the manual mode, you could set the time on how long you want it to run before it automatically shuts off so that you don't actually have to babysit your blender. I think in this day and age of computers and all this kind of stuff, I find it insane that some blenders on the market still, you just, you have to turn it off when it's, when you want to turn it off. It just won't automatically turn off. Now, one of the features I think that Tribest should include with their unit is, uh, you know, basically a, a, a delay start. So, you know, they know that this unit, if you put it on the top and you vacuum it out, it might take between X seconds and X seconds. And I'm just going to say maybe 30 seconds to 60 seconds, maybe 15 seconds to 60 seconds. It depends on how much volume of air the vacuum has to pull out. So there should be a delay start feature so that you say, okay, I want it to blend for 30 seconds, but now the machine is going to have a countdown from 60 to zero. And that's the countdown for, to let the vacuum unit work so that literally it's going to be a two touch operation. You press the vacuum, make sure that gets going properly. Then you press the button. It's going to count down. And when this is done, then it starts the vacuum. And I think that's going to be really cool. Um, you can literally just walk away and not have to babysit your smoothie. As it is right now, only two buttons. You have to press this. You have to wait for it to be done. And then you press the button to blend it when you're ready. All right. So I guess the next thing I want to do, I want to do a real quick comparison uh, between why vacuum blending is so much superior to traditional blending in a Vitamix. So now I want to give you guys a quick demonstration of actually blending in a Vitamix versus blending in a Dynapro vacuum blender. And this is basically only for the vacuum test. We're not doing like, you know, what makes a better particle size. I'll be doing that a little bit later comparing the new Dynapro to the old one. In any case, uh, what we have today are we have even amounts of apples that I cut up, like two apples in each um, uh, collection cup there, and then we have uh, actually eight ounces of water, uh, reverse osmosis, although that does not matter. But basically, we're going to put the water in there in uh, each of the blenders, and that's going to help basically the apples blend up. Let's make sure we get the top off here first. All right, and let's go ahead next and uh, dump the apples in there. All right, so the Vitamix is ready to blend because we're not sucking a vacuum out, but the Dynapro, um, we will need to suck the vacuum out. So to do that, we will put the vacuum lid on the top, and then we're going to go ahead and put this automatic uh, vacuum um, pump here on the top. We're going to basically press this down, make sure it makes a good contact, we're going to press the button once, and you guys could hear it run. And if it's working, if you look underneath there, because it's clear, you can see the little, um, there's a little valve in the top, and it's actually going up and down. And if you listen carefully, you could actually hear something click. But anyway, it's sucking out the, all the extra oxygen. You can see some bubbles coming up from the bottom, some trap bubbles in between the apples that are actually getting sucked out. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and let this run. Also, when you're doing the vacuum pump, it's good to just maybe, you know, see if you could lift up on this uh, easily. Oops, yeah, I lifted it up too much. <laughs> uh, you want to keep it down there firmly, but if it comes up too easily, then it doesn't have a good suction. Um, but you want to make sure that little thing is uh, moving up and down uh, vigorously because that shows that it's actually uh, pulling a nice vacuum uh, out for you guys. All right, so it just finished. We can go ahead and pull this off. We got a good vacuum on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically turn both blenders on high um, for the exact same amount of time. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and flip this button, and we're just going to go ahead and press this button. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and let them run. All right, uh, we'll probably speed this up for you guys so you guys can see the action going on. Um, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Alright, 
<laughs> we got them both blended here. And now on the tri vest, let's go ahead and take this guy off. And uh, listen carefully as we pull up this little flap. Very important on a vacuum blender. You need to release the vacuum before you try to open the lid. Otherwise, you won't be able to open the lid because there's the lid's being sucked in. So uh, listen very carefully. Wow. And actually, you could hear the top actually kind of flexes down and actually uh, comes up. So uh, the easiest way to open this lid, I like that they have these little handles on here. I, I, I'll lift this up while I'm lifting up. I'll use one hand on the handle and I'll push one uh, thumb up here. And then basically, it'll just uh, pop the lid right off. On the Vitamix, uh, you know, no vacuum release is necessary. We could just go ahead and take the lid off. And we're going to get uh, two glass bottles here so you guys can see the difference here. And so this is the uh, Tribest uh, Dyna Pro. You know, that's a fairly good consistency. It looks like it's got all the, all the apple peel and everything uh, blended up. I think it's a lot better than the previous generation. They definitely have made some improvements, uh, in my opinion, just uh, from observation. All right, here is the Vitamix as we pour this guy in there. Now, you guys aren't here to see this, but I can see literally uh, as I'm pouring this, there's a lot, a lot more extra air or bubbles um, in the mixture. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people that say, when you blend in a vacuum blender, you remove all the bubbles and all the foam, right? You are still blending at a high speed, and depending on how much vacuum you put on it, there still will be some bubbles in there. That cannot be helped, right? But what I can say is that you will minimize the bubbles and the foam uh, in the blender in most cases. Although some things, some plant foods have saponins, which are basically like a soap, and they'll cause excess foaming. But know this, if you do the same thing in the Vitamix versus a vacuum blender, um, you will get less foaming and bubbles in the vacuum uh, blended mixture, all right? So now let's go ahead and uh, put these uh, lids on the top. We'll seal these guys off. And what we're going to do is we're going to set those. Oops, we're going to set them over here on camera for you guys so you guys can see that. And I'm just going to let them sit here during the whole episode. And then we're going to actually uh, revisit these, um, you know, at the end of this episode to see what happens. So once again, uh, this side is the Dynapro and this side was the Vitamix. So now I'm back for the final test and basically what I'll be doing today is kind of making like a, a sweet nut milk. So we have are about, about 425 uh, milliliters of uh, coconut water that we're going to pour into each of the blenders here. And then uh, followed by about um, 100 grams of walnuts, macadamia nuts and dates, even amounts of each. We're going to go ahead and pour that in there. And uh, what I'm using today here are actually the uh, brand new uh, Dynapro with the clear carafe with the upgraded uh, you know, blade assembly. And then we got the original Dynapro with the original carafe and the original blade assembly. You know, so Tribus has told me that you know, it's uh, upgraded, so this one's new and sharper and whatever. It's going to perform better. So that's what we're testing right now. And we're going to go ahead and put the, the vacuum lid on. You want to make sure that it evacuates the air when you put it on. So if you listen carefully, you could hear that. All right, great. And then now, of course, this uh, vacuum pump will work on both units. So we're going to vacuum out this guy first. And you can always tell if it's working if you see bubbles coming up from the liquid, which I am seeing. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, let this run and evacuate the excess oxygen. All right, so that's all finished. Let's go ahead and pull this guy off and let's suck out this guy. All right, that's done vacuuming and uh, when it's done, it's going to be a little bit difficult to pull off here and it'll pop off. And uh, I guess now we're next, we're going to blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the combo button like two times so it'll run a minute. All right, so both are done and uh, now moment of truth here. We're going to go ahead and take the new guy once again. Pull the vacuum off there, and as we're lifting up on here, we're going to use my thumb to pull the lid off. Uh, once again, on this guy, we're going to go ahead and pull the vacuum and uh, lift this guy off. Now, the cool thing about these uh, both these carafes actually, um, they have a little sensor on them. If you guys can see that on the Dynapro, there's like a little blue uh, star. 
So that star, if it's uh, not blue, if it changes color, that means the temperature in the crab has exceeded 118 degrees, uh, which is the temperature that people into raw foods like to maintain their food under to keep more of the enzymes. Uh, so this is kind of your cue to like stop blending if that color changes. So I kind of like this. No other blender that I know of has this uh, technology built in. All right, so uh, first let's go ahead and pour out the old Dynapro. Uh, once again, we're using similar sieves here. And uh, dates can be very hard to uh, blend up as well as the macadamia nuts. Walnuts will blend fairly easy, but the macadamia nuts uh, generally uh, will have some issues. Oh man, there's definitely uh, big chunks of nuts here coming out on uh, the original Dynapro, and this doesn't surprise me so much because I had used it for uh, you know, a bit of time and um, you know, it found that it didn't always blend up everything as well, that well. So yeah, there's a bunch in there. Let's go ahead and hopefully this uh, new one has been greatly improved. Let's go ahead and try to pour this mixture out. Wow, this is impressive, man. I don't know what they were thinking the first time they came out this machine, but this second version now with the new blade assembly, it's totally amazing. Look at this. I mean, to me, this is not acceptable, guys. <laughs> not acceptable. But now look at this new one, right? I think all I see is a few fragments of dates I'm in there. I'm not even sure if I see any nut bits in there. I think it's mostly like dates. I feel some small nut particles. But basically, you could drink that and you would never know the difference. But let me show you guys that up close, right? Can you guys see the difference? There's like a lot of nuts in here and this. There's basically nothing in there. And if you soaked your nuts and um, dates before you blended, you'd probably get basically nothing in there. So what does this mean? This means that the new carafe of the new blade assembly is greatly improved. And if you're one of those people that said, John, I'm just going to wait on vacuum blenders. Um, Tribus has now, I think, after a year, gotten the kinks worked out of this guy, um, gotten this up to speed. It makes a much more creamier uh, nut milk, blends to a finer consistency. It includes that uh, very easy to use automatic um, vacuum pump that's, uh, you know, one touch, press it, it'll pull the vacuum, and you're done. I mean, I can't really say anything more than that. Oh, I, I think I gotta try the mixtures here. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I taste some fine particulate in there, but it's actually quite sweet because we got the magnets and the dates. That's actually nice. And it, with some vanilla, this would be the bomb. I mean, for the most part, they both taste super delicious. I can't really determine which better one or the other. Basically, this one has a bit less nuts and dates, so it's probably not going to be as sweet or as rich and creamy. So I definitely want to say, if you guys are looking for the Dynapro, uh, make sure you get the new version. Don't get the old version, right, that had the old, uh, you know, uh, blade assembly and the manual pumps, right? It has been improved. Unfortunately, most retailers stock, they'll be still stocking the old version. At Discount Juicers, we are now stocking the brand new version, and we are no longer selling the old version. So if you want to get the new version, check the link down below uh, to purchase the all-new Dynapro uh, DSP-1050A-B. And, uh, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know. I'll try to do more videos with the all-new and improved Dynapro uh, vacuum blender in future episodes. I hope to soon make a video comparing the Dynapro to the Kuvings. I mean, each one of those machines have their pros and cons. At this point, I kind of like the Tribes Dynapro a bit better because... You know, basically, number one, it has a separate vacuum pump. If the vacuum pump goes out in the Kuvings, then you basically got to send the whole machine back in the Tribest. It's a separate vacuum pump, so you're basically not going to be down. Your blender's still going to work. And there's multiple ways to pull a vacuum on the container, aside from just this automated pump. You could even use a manual pump, which actually I still have. Um, the other thing I like about this unit is that it actually has a much larger carafe, a 64-ounce size carafe. Um, which is larger than the Kuvings unit. In addition, uh, this unit has a 15-year warranty, which is over twice as long as a Kuvings unit. You know, of course, you're going to have to wait for the trial where I compare these two side by side. I guess uh, time 
will tell on that. So be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out and you get notified when I do have new and upcoming episodes every five to seven days and you're where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Also be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, over 500 episodes at this time, teach you guys all aspects about comparing juicers and now vacuum blenders, even dehydrators, against one another. Also be sure to check the link down below to the original video I made with the original Dynapro so you can see uh, the benefits and differences uh, you know, uh, in it and why vacuum blending is, in my opinion, so much more superior than standard traditional blending uh, without the vacuum. Also, be sure to support me and my work. If you guys enjoyed my videos, right, please make your purchase from DiscountJuicers.com. Uh, this is very important so I can continue to make these videos and I can continue to remain in business because if you buy from any other retailer, I'm not going to get the credit and, you know, I may go out of business if people don't support me. <laughs> That being said, I also do have a price match policy, right? We will match any other authorized retailer of the products we offer. So if you find it for less somewhere else, you know, say, hey, John, I found it for less somewhere else, and I'd be glad to match their price. That being said, we need to compare apples to apples, right? If somebody's selling the old machine for cheap, I can't match their price when I'm selling you the brand new machine that you guys just saw performs a lot better. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.